everyone, welcome to Artwist. I'm your host Sharika Beni and I am here to teach you the art of perspective drawing. Now perspective is basically how you would view an object from where you stand. It could be an aerial view, the ant eye view which is from way below or from where you stand, your eye level. So to begin with, there are three perspectives and there are also multiple perspectives as well. But the main three are the one point perspective, the two point perspective and the three point perspective. The one point perspective is basically the most easiest to learn and understand and comprehend why two and three points cannot be learned unless you have the basic understanding of the one point perspective. So let's begin with the one point perspective. So first of all you begin by drawing a straight horizontal line. Now this is called the horizon line or your eye level that is you view objects at this range and this is your eye level so when suppose you have a square here say here now this square is below your eye level while if you have a square here it is on your eye level and a square here would be above your eye level so above eye level on eye level and below eye level so, how would you see an object in perspective when, you, when it is below your eye level? So, you have your vanishing point. The vanishing point is the area where the vertical and horizontal lines of the square disappear to, to form, to give the object a certain amount of depth and originality when, when it comes to realistic viewing. So, you take the, the vertices of the squares you, have, you can see it here and you join these vertices to the vanishing point there you have it and then you draw you connect these two diagonals together make sure the diagonal that you join the, the diagonals you join with this horse with this horizontal line are perfectly parallel to this one don't make it don't make sure you don't slant the line like this or like this then the entire depth of the object will be, will be gone so make sure the line is perfectly horse that parallel to this one okay so this is how you would view an object from below your eye level now on eye, at, the eye, at your eye level you don't have any certain depth this is the face of the object and this is how you would see it when you're viewing it from your eye level now when you when it comes to viewing this particular object from above your eye level that means you're looking up at it how would you see it so once again you connect these two vertices with a vanishing point here all right these two one not even of these two because you're viewing it from above so you have to connect the ones that the vertices that are below the object to the vanishing point and connect the diagonals again similar to the one below eye level and make sure this that this horizontal line is parallel to this one okay i'm not using a scale here so mine not be approximately correct so when so one year when you're practicing the one point perspective at, from the beginning make sure you use a scale or ruler to actually perfect the lines because it is quite difficult to get the lines from you know per perfectly straight at first try so when you're in when you're a beginner in perspective learning make sure you use a ruler to aid you in to aid you in drawing the lines perfectly so this is how you view an object above above eye level you can use you can use you some shading to denote the depth of the object so above eye level at your eye level and below your eye level so this is how you draw a cube in one point perspective now how about to the right of the object so i mean that is your your the horizon line you have a cube and once again you connect these vertices to the vanishing point to the vanishing point make sure they, they intersect perfectly well and then you connect these two diagonals these two lines should be parallel
Now this is how you, you how you would view a cube from your left of the eye level in one point perspective. These these lines perfectly join at the vanishing point, which is at the extreme for 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 the view of your eye level. Now to your right. Similar to the one on your left, connect its vertices to the vanishing point and then join to. And this is how you this is how the cube will look in one point perspective at the right side, at the right hand side of the of the horizon line. So I hope you have understood the one, one, how to draw the one point perspective. Basically you just join the vertices and it also depends on your uh, knowledge of perceiving the object from where you stand. If you, if possible, just try viewing objects in one point perspective from where you are at the moment. You can even view objects, buildings or even small uh, tables or chairs in your house in one point perspective. And this is how, if you notice carefully, you can you can you'll understand that all the all these vertices will actually meet at a certain point at the further end, which you, which you actually can't see, but you have but you will have to imagine on your own. So, basically, above eye level, below eye level, you can see that the objects have a certain depth with the help of the perspective lines that we have drawn. Now, these lines are called the the orthogonal lines. These lines are basically used for aiding. You can, you know, erase them off once you have done your picture in, perf in perfect perspective to make it look more neat. So this is how you draw a cube in one point perspective. And uh, you can draw a variety of images with the help of perspective. You can even draw a constructed building. You can even use this as, use this as a building. Constructed the windows. And when it comes to constructed windows again, use the orthogonal lines okay. and this is how you how you would construct a building in one point perspective and so and as you can see i've used the orthogonal lines to construct the windows at this phase of the cube which is actually necessary similarly for door the same thing, use your orthogonal lines, make sure they meet at the vanishing point and then you can construct your door. So this is how you construct a building or any similar object in one point perspective. You can, you can actually construct a railway track in one point perspective, um, the middle of a street in one point perspective, even street lands in one point perspective, trees, a lot of similar objects. So make sure you practice thoroughly on this because when because when you move on to the two point and three point perspective, even the multiple perspectives, you would need a basic understanding of one point perspective first. So practice thoroughly and make sure you use a ruler at the beginning because if you don't use a ruler, you can make a mistake with with joining the diagonals to the vanishing point, which is actually necessary to create the objects in a particular depth to give it a feeling of or of realism. So that's it for that's all for today. So until we meet again, thank you.